thank you for your leadership. It is truly a shining example to all countries. Astronaut from Estonian public broadcasting. Uh, question to. Uh... In terms of whether or not Russia has started its offensive, uh, what we're seeing, as you've heard me say before, is Russia uh, continued to introduce. Uh, large numbers of troops into, uh, into the theater. Those troops are ill-equipped and ill-trained, and because of that, they're incurring a lot of casualties, and we expect that that will continue. We've also seen them increase uh, their artillery fires uh, in the Bakhmut area, and Bakhmut's been a contested area for some time. Uh, we expect to see that, that continue as well. You said yesterday countries are working to move equipment like more armored vehicles into Ukraine. We've really laid out a detailed plan on how we're going to bring things in to, in support of Ukraine uh, and provide them that, that gear. So this is a work in progress, uh, but it's something that our leaders are working on very, very uh, diligently. And again, uh, <laughs> Ukraine, it's Ukraine's fight. Uh, we're going to provide them all the support that we can possibly provide them so that they can have the best chance of being successful in the upcoming offensive. Is Estonia next? Uh, well, for that, we are doing our maximum to prevent it. So deterrence is you know, one key word here, and this is exactly why NATO is coming out with the new regional plans, which hopefully will be approved also in Vilnius Summit in July. Five to ten minutes until the minister has left the building. Prior to Russia's invasion, you know, I met with your Minister of Defense, and I told him that if Russia invaded Ukraine, we would deploy forces to, uh, to Estonia the next day. And we did. We were the first to be here, uh, and, and we meant every word we said, and we'll live up to our commitments going forward. So we are committed uh, to, uh, to Article 5, and uh, you, can, you, can, uh, you can bet on that.